Hey, what's up? It's Annika and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be doing a little puppy haul of everything that I bought for my puppy. There's a little nugget herself. She's sleeping. Another hard day at the office. <laughs> okay, so my little puppy, her name is Cinnamon and she is a beagle puppy. She's just over eight weeks now, so she's a little nugget and she's so spoiled i bought her so much crap so like let's go through it so for her bed i just got her this little donut bed and it kind of looks big when i'm holding it up but i got the small size and i got it off amazon so it's supposed to be really calming to dogs and she loves to like bury her little nose in the sides and like sometimes she buries her toys in there too but yeah, so I got that for her. As far as toys, I actually got her a ton of toys. Some from Amazon, some from like Chewy, some from Petco, I think. But I'll link everything in the description down below. So I did get this ice cream cone, like Minnie Mouse ice cream cone toy. And it has like the little crinklies that she really, really likes. Um, I got her a set of these <laughs> bottle toys. And then we have another one that's champagne. It came in a three pack. And that one's downstairs but yeah she really likes these because they're really crinkly i got her this baby yoda um crinkly and squeaker toy she loves this i did order her a pup box subscription and they gave this toy and this like squeaker one this one's really loud so i'm not gonna squeak it because she's sleeping i'm not gonna wake her up they also gave this like little kong in the pup box which is really good because i just shoved some of her kibble in there and I give it to her at lunch so that she has to like dig it out. I did get her this teething toy and I think I just got this off of like Petco maybe? I don't know, I'll link everything. I got her a ducky and this toy I think is her favorite. It's a crinkly elephant. It's not a squeaker but it's got like these kind of tug ropes at the end and the tail and the ears are like that crinkly kind of sensation she loves this one like when she's getting really rowdy like i will just throw this on her and be like girl calm down play with this i got her a set of these like hard bones they're not real bones um they're just toys but they're like really really hard so she actually really likes chewing on these which i didn't think she would enjoy like hard things to chew on she's teething but she really likes these and when we snuggle at night because yes i let her sleep in my bed um sometimes she'll wake up and she just like needs to bite things and instead of biting my face i just like hold this at her mouth and like make her chew on it and she loves it this little tug toy is awesome i got this at like PetSmart. she already kind of ripped these out of it but she really likes this like when she's feeling very mouthy because again she is teething i just play with this with her and i'll just like drop it on her and then she'll like chill out and just chew on this which is great i also got her mini tennis balls because her mouth is so tiny and she loves her little tennis balls and we have like a few more toys that were kind of spread out around downstairs but honestly she'll just she'll chew anything <laughs> moving on to accessories i did order her this set of bandanas i think in a size like extra small um but i did get these off of amazon because they came in a four pack but like look how cute i got a green one this like magenta -y, like red reddish this one is so cute and then like the flowers like i thought they were so springy and just so adorable and i put one on her actually when we were in dc and she didn't try and like rip it off so there's that i got her her little black harness and i got it from a local store we have in portland um mud bay i actually don't know if they are other places they could be and i could just not know but i got this from mud bay <laughs> and i got it in a size small even though she is a pupper but the extra small looked really tiny it's just a basic black harness um yeah which we haven't used too much because i think she just doesn't like harnesses or collars and the collar that she has on she keeps like scratching at it so it frays but like i want her to get used to it so that when i'm like training her not to bite us all the training videos that i've watched like you have to like tug on their collar a little bit so that they get the idea like no you can't do that so that's why i leave it on her but i got this leash from mud bay as well and i haven't actually used it yet i would probably use it more on like walks but we haven't really gone on walks yet because she doesn't have all her shots and she does have parasites so she's being treated for that now and yeah her little immune system is pretty weak so i don't want to take her 
out to where other dogs are and there's a lot of dogs that walk in our neighborhood so we wouldn't want that but this is a kind of a cool leash because it has like a little handle here as well as you know the loop here and it's adjustable so you can adjust the length which is great um in a ton of dog training videos i've watched too they have these like little carabiners so that you can like hook the leash onto you so that way like when you're training or whatever you don't have to like worry about it your leash flying out of your hand or whatever <gasps> look who's awake <gasps> look who's awake look who's awake <laughs> Oh, you're such a sweetie. She has that puppy breath and... Mm. Big yawn. Big yawn. But yeah, her collar... Hold on. Turn, baby. Her collar's a little frayed because she scratches at it. But I don't know if I should try a different collar. If I should just try and have her get used to this one. Or what. I do take it off of her. And I don't leave it on her all day, but I do, again, want to train her to not bite me and bite her toys instead. So, <gasps> yeah? Yeah? She had a nice long nappy. Ow! Like that, she just bites. She just bites. She's a psychopath. She had, like, a psychotic rage earlier. She'll just hook on to my sweats, and she'll start growling and won't let go. So, that's a bad habit, buddy. This is the crate I got her. It is on the smaller side and I actually do have the divider up, but I'm still working on crate training. Again, she sleeps in my bed, but um, I am working on getting her comfortable in here for when I can't watch her um, at every second. So I actually do have a lick mat in there as well. So I'll link that too. And as far as cleaning products, I have this Burt's Bees 2-in-1 Tearless Shampoo and Conditioner which I actually don't know if it's the greatest, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I got to these ear wipes because beagles are prone to getting ear infections because of their big floppy ears. So I definitely wanted to get her used to getting her ears wiped. And I got this little brush for when she takes a bath and these gentle wipes. I got some in my pup box, but I also ordered some. So these are awesome because they're like freshening wipes, especially when she likes to like roll in her poop or something. <laughs> And I got her this little toothbrush, which I haven't used yet. So I want to try and get her used to that. And then this paw soother to help with any dry paws that she might get. As well as I got her these raised drinking bowl, water bowl and food bowl. And this little kind of mat to get any extra water that falls down so that doesn't soak in the carpet. And this Kong, which I put some of her food in. Oh, there's still some in there. And I also got her this travel water bottle, which was great when I had to bring her home from DC. But that about wraps up my puppy haul video. Big yawn of everything that I bought her. Um, I really went overboard. Like you literally don't need all of this crap to get a dog, but I just wanted to spoil her. And we did have to travel from DC when I went and got her. So I do have a travel vlog of that, like when I went to go get her. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm on a debt-free journey, paying off over $229,000 in debt. I love sharing Disney vlogs, working vlogs, as well as puppy videos and creative vlogs too. So make sure you're subscribed. But if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.